G'day everyone, it's Justin and Scott, two dads again from Broome, Australia. Now, Scott, today I've brought you down a Kia Optima sedan. Yep. Now, I think we had a quick chat before we started shooting. Kias, what are your thoughts on Kias? Well, I've never driven one, so I'm pretty excited actually about this, um, just because um, everything I've read recently about Kia is it's just a brand that's on the up and up. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you're right. If I, I mean, the, the fact I've never driven one um, means that it's sort of a fairly new thing for me. It's probably a new thing for a lot of people. Um, it's a Has brand. It been on the radar, sort of thing. Not yeah. really. I've got to say, I haven't even seen this car on the road, so yep. it's a bit bli blind to me on the road. Um, okay. I'm sure I'll start noticing them now. But uh, uh, yeah, I'm really excited about driving a what is a what is a brand that's on the up and up. Yeah. Well, this is the Kia Optima. This is Kia's version of a sort of like a, a sedan, family sedan, I suppose. Now, I've got to say, mate, I've driven this car. For the last week yep and of all the cars that we've had a drive of this year i've got to say this is the most surprising car. oh okay value for money it just blows me away yep. like the impression you get when you actually when when you sit in the car when you have a drive of this thing really like it's up there i think with you know the europeans at 70 yep. 75 grand in terms of equipment the presentation inside the car you'll see it it's it's very, very surprising. Yep. Like, yeah, yeah, really, really good value for money. And and on the surface, this ticks all the boxes in terms of us always looking for a, a fun yeah. and family-friendly car, right? So it's yeah, it's I a reasonably so good size. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's it's probably a, a good uh, family proposition, really. Yeah, I think it, it's it's good to look at this one. I think because you know with the demise of the Falcon and the Commodore now, yep. um, Ford and and Holden in manufacturing in Australia, big family sedans like they're getting a bit few and far between now. Yep. Most people go to SUVs. Yep. This thing here, like if you're looking for a fun, family friendly, family sedan, maybe have a look at this one. So, yeah. mm -hmm. looking forward to a drive? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Great. All right, Scott, we're in the Kia Optima. Firstly, what I'd like you to do, put your hand over the badge, okay? Have a look around, give me your impressions. What do you think? Um, very spacious. Um, uh, very well laid out. Seems seems uh, not over cluttered. So some of the cars we seem to go into dials and buttons and everywhere. It's very overwhelming. Um, yep. This is very nicely spaced out. Although there is lots and lots of features. Obviously, we've got to learn about. Mm. But um, it is well mapped out um, and definitely a sense of quality. Right. So nice steering wheel. Um, you know the finish with the red stitching. Uh, I don't know if people can see that, but uh, it's got some nice red leather stitching. Um, and yeah, genuinely like quite a plush feel inside. I got to say, mate, when I first jumped into the car, I kind of did what you did. I put the hand on the on the badge. <laughs> I there. did it because I was told to do it. Okay, yeah. all right, but I got a European feel about it. I really did. Like yep. in terms of the way the dash presents itself and everything, it's sort of BMW Audi, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep. And if you think about what this car's worth, this is the top of the range Kia, the GT. Yep. It's only about forty-four thousand dollars. Wow. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I'd, I'd say first impressions in forty four thousand for about what what I know about this car already. Yeah. is an amazing price point. That's, yeah, that's very impressive. Because I had a look on you know like the equivalent sort of European cars to the spec of what one of these is. Yep, you're paying upwards of about seventy thousand dollars for the same spec level. Yep, yep. Which well, well, I'm looking around now and I'm seeing heated and cooled seats. Yes, heated I'm steering seeing, wheel. Look yeah, at that. heated steering wheel. Um, you know, Harman Kardon um, speakers, right? Yeah. So, um, Ten you know, speaker Harman Kardon sound system. For a $44,000 car with, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. All the safety features too, like it's got, you know, radar cruise control, autonomous braking, lane departure warning, um, mate, it's... And, and I think we've talked about that stuff before being really important in terms of family, family friendly, yeah. right? When there's distractions in the car and everything, exactly. I think those safety features just can't be replaced. They're great yeah. as a family friendly feature. Yeah, so I think immediately, like, you know, value for money, um, family friendliness, I mean, the space of the car, mm. you know, it's it's really up there, I reckon. So, yeah, okay. why don't we see how it drives now? Let's go. Okay. Now, mate, the Optima GT, the one we're in today, so it's the top of the range one, it um, has a 180 kilowatt, two litre turbo engine, 350 newton metres of torque. Yep. Um, it's running a six-speed automatic, which has a sport mode, economy mode as well. Um, it's got your paddles as you like. So, yep. Yeah. I'll give that a go in a minute. Yeah. Yeah, it's certainly um, 
no problems taking off from start. It's, uh, it's got a real lot of oomph. Mm. Very quiet too on the inside. Yeah. It's quite nice. Yeah. Yeah, it seems very yeah. refined in that sense as well. Yeah. The refinement's pretty good like for a, you know, a 40, 40 grand car. Um, yeah, this is very nice off off the, off the start. Just goes really well, yeah. very fast. There's absolutely more than enough to get around in the city and in and out of uh, lanes. And um, yeah, this is really well specced in terms of engine. The um, Kia engineers actually um, employed some you know Australian input into the ride and the handling of the car. Um, you can sort of tell by the way it rides on our roads. I think it's not too bad. The actual electric power steering, it's um, reasonably heavy so it's it's actually got a little bit more um, feel to it I suppose yep yep yeah, I think this would suit most people the steering it just feels yeah it's responsive enough it's not too heavy yeah um, but also it's not too light it's like it's it's yeah not, yeah it's that's not, right yeah for, for someone who's um, you know a little bit enthusiastic about their driving I think they'd appreciate that the other thing that Kia's have got which I think is in Australia is the industry leader seven year warranty on the car yeah isn't that compelling? Yeah. And I was just uh, <clears throat> looking at the, um, s the fixed price servicing for those seven years as well. Yeah. I think yeah. Over, five, over seven years, it's something like $4,500 fixed price servicing. Over seven years. Which is, um, yeah. you know, that, that's not a very expensive car to own. Um, so with some sort of a surety for a family car, yeah. knowing what it's going to cost over those seven years and that it's under warranty, a uh, very compelling offer. Yeah. All for 44 k Yeah. So I'm just looking at the visibility. Um, Front and left and right just feels fantastic, so very easy to drive this car. Yeah. Um, a little bit less visibility out the back. Um, I'm assuming it has a reversing camera. Yeah, it's got a reversing yeah. camera. So that's yeah. fine. Yep. Yeah. I just love all the little surprise and delight features this car had. I mean, I had um, the little bloke in the car yesterday, and it's actually got um, built in. Um, oh, sunshades. Sunshades? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's got vents in the back, which is good. Another little surprise and delight feature in the um, console here. If you've got a, a wireless charging mobile phone, mm -hmm. you can just pop it down here and it'll charge without no cables. cables. How, how good is that? That's very that's good. Really the cables good. in a car are a pain. So that's terrific. Yeah. The infotainment system's pretty good too. It's actually got uh, navigation, it's got traffic alert. Um, it'll even tell you, like, you know, if you're over the speed limit as well. Um, it's actually got uh, video playback as well by USB. But one thing I really love, and I haven't seen this to be honest on many sat navs. Um, yep. House numbering. <coughs> so if you're driving and you're looking for somebody's place, yep, it'll tell you what number house oh, you're that's coming terrific. up to. That's yep. really good. That's great. And I, I don't yeah. know about you, but with fa again being family friendly, you're always dropping kids at different parties and people's places for oh, you know yeah. for a play day or whatever. Yeah. So. You're going to acquire a lot of unfamiliar houses. That's a terrific yeah. feature. Yeah. Yeah. It ticks all the boxes, doesn't it? There's yeah, not it, much it, that. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm just trying to think of something it doesn't really have. I mean, driving it, it's it's the, the, the ride is really good. It's going around the corners. It's not too much body roll. It feels very comfortable. The sound levels are, you know, in the cabin are it's very quiet. You can hardly hear the engine. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've had it for the week, and and I've kind of been doing the same thing. I was, I was trying to justify, would I pay an extra? Twenty twenty five thousand dollars <coughs> for a European car. This car makes a compelling argument, doesn't it? It yeah. just, yeah. I mean, twenty five grand's a lot you can actually spend on something else. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yeah. And so this model, I noticed it's pretty much there are no other options. It is what it is. Yeah. This, is this has got all, ticked all the boxes on the options list. Yep. Sunroof standard on the car, and it's a great big glass moonroof too that goes out to the back, yeah. which is which is nice. Yeah. So you promised me a sports mode. Yeah. Where's this sports mode? Right? You and know, you I love my drive sports mode. mode. It goes into economy, then into sport. sport. So yep. going into there. Okay. Yep. Feel a little change in the engine then, to sort of up the revs a little bit. Yeah. Yep. Well, sports mode doesn't seem to do much more than just increase the revs a little bit, make it a little bit more fun. But yeah. it's more than got enough just driving around in, in the basic mode. Yeah. Yep. I guess the only thing I would probably say personally is something I think might be a little bit better in the car is engine mode. It's quite refined, it's quite quiet. Um, if it had a little bit more inspiring engine mode or exhaust mode. Yeah. 
Yep. The other thing too, they haven't skimped on things in this car, I think. Like the, um, it's running 18 inch alloys on it, but they have spent the money and put decent Michelin Pilot um, sport tyres on it oh, too. Okay. Yep. So that's got a lot to do with the uh, the ride quality and, and the handling, I think, and the quietness of it too. So yep. yeah. It's got uh, auto stop start. No, no, okay. no. Which I like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're not a big fan, are you? I'm not a big fan of it. No, <laughs> not stop start and annoys me. <laughs> Is there anything else that it's missing? Because I can't really think of anything, right? Like it seems a. Uh... One thing I wouldn't mind seeing in the Optima, though, um, a wagon version. I know that they oh, they've yeah. announced a wagon version overseas, but Australia doesn't get that that version. Yep. Um, as you say, like from a family-friendly standpoint, that'd just make it perfect for <laughs> the families, wouldn't it? Having, you know, the boot's pretty big. Yep. Um, anyway, but just having the practicality of a wagon, uh, yeah, I reckon that'd be pretty good. But the, the trouble is, I guess, is that everybody goes for SUVs these days. Like, you know, the popularity of, of um, uh, traditional sedans and, and station wagons isn't isn't really there as much as yep. SUVs, which is a shame because if you enjoy your driving. You're going to probably get more enjoyment out of driving a, you know, a good, well set up sedan or, or wagon yes. than an SUV. So. Yep. Okay, Scott, mate, you've had a quick drive of the Optima. Yeah. Give us your thoughts. What do you think? Well, um, very impressed. I've got to say, overall, um, I think um, quality of the finish is amazing. Um, the amount of fun kit that it comes with is really good. Um, lots of safety features, which I think we say for family friendly is really important. Mm. Yep, um, lane departure, automatic braking, all that stuff. When there's lots happening in the car, I think that's important. So it's got all of those. Um, really couldn't think of anything it didn't have. Yeah. It is, it's got everything and it's been done with quality. It doesn't look like they've tried to skimp on anything. Mm. Um, and then for the price point, that's that's amazing. I think yeah. it, it is really good. You've got an engine, 180 kilowatts. It really goes. It gets in and out of the traffic as it needs to. Um, so no one's going to be wanting there. Um, uh, and styling inside is a really good fit as well. So mm. um, really, just tick, tick, tick boxes in terms of family friendly um, as a replacement for Falcon, Commodore, that sort of stuff. This thing's quite roomy inside. It, it, it could do that job. Um, certainly, obviously, a a bit of a comparison to the Camrys as well. Um, I think this thing, you know, probably is head and shoulders above a lot of the other stuff in the market. It, it's surprising, isn't mm, it? That's, yeah. that's the biggest thing I got when I first jumped into the car. I, I agree with you 100%. Like the presentation, especially the interior, the interior presentation just blew me away. Yeah. I just thought, wow, this yeah. is, what a great effort. So yeah. Yeah. yeah, and like you said, it's got everything in the car. Um, seven year warranty as well. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Keeps surprising me there with that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I, I just think, yeah, like you said, I, I can't think of really anything else, really, that you'd want to throw at the car, apart from, I guess, as I mentioned, you know, the availability of a station wagon, maybe. Yep. Something like yep. that. Um, yeah, no, it's it's a great effort by Kia. Yep. Think. Yeah, great effort. And then, I think as we discuss, SUVs, you know, they're, they're everywhere now. Mm -hmm. If you enjoy your driving, um, and you want something that's a bit more car-like, definitely like yep. have a look at one of these things that the 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 value equation is 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 right up there it really is and i think as we discussed you know in the car before there is some some badge sort of um you know that's the elephant snobbery, in the room, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, the elephant yeah, in the room, yeah, you know, yeah. bad snobbery, I yeah. suppose. Yeah. Would you like for i mean for me you know the equivalent european car you know is 25 grand more expensive than one of these things. Yep. yep. You know, is, is a badge worth 25 grand? I mean, no. that's going to be the big argument for everybody out there. I know that we're going to get some... So some... I think the only way to resolve that is to go and drive the comparable car yeah. with the European badge, look at the price tag, yep. and then everyone has to make their own decision, right? True. If you want to pay 25,000 more yeah. and you get that European badge, yeah. that's a personal choice, right? Yeah. But I think if people put the numbers down, it's going to be very compelling yeah. to go and buy one of these. And, and, and while the badge matures as a brand, because I'm sure it is, yeah. I mean, in a couple of years, I don't think there will be that big a, big a stigma about Kia. Yep. I think it's already changed. Yep. But I think if you did the numbers, it would be really hard to go and buy the European yeah. the European car. I mean, yeah. I, I actually thought about that and took it one step further. Why not buy one of these as your daily driver, your everyday car that's you know good for the family with that extra twenty twenty five thousand dollars? Buy yourself a toy. Yep. Yeah, something <laughs> for the weekends. Yeah. yeah Why not? Absolutely. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But this okay. does the day-to-day -day job and the oh, weekend job, the travelling yeah. job, everything. Yeah. Very, very well. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's such. Yeah. It, it, it surprised me. Mm. Very, very impressive. Yeah. Yep. Very impressive. 
Now, I just want to put out a great big thank you to uh, Kia Motors Australia for the, uh, the test car this week. And um, that last question, we always have to ask that question, don't we? Yeah. Is it a car that you park it and you walk away from it? Has it got that X factor? Would you, would you look back at it? Is it? No, no, sorry, mate, not this one. Okay. I, uh, I think it's really good quality and it's, you know, it's, it, it's a nice fit out and everything. Um, just probably doesn't quite have the wow. Um, for me, okay. so I would. Right. What about you? I, I'm going to disagree with you there. Yeah. It, it does for me. I, I like the styling of it. It's um, you know when you sit in the car and everything, it, it just doesn't feel like it's a it's like a 40 grand car from Korea. It, yep. it feels yep. a lot more high end than yep. than what it is. And and you know for me that that's that tickles my fancy. I suppose yep. like having something that you know. It's got that X factor that way, I suppose. Yep. Um, I like the way it drives. Um, it's got ample power, as you say. I think the Australian suspension um, inputs done wonders with the car in terms of the ride. They haven't skimped on anything. Mate, I, I disagree, unfortunately. Oh, but that's hey, all right, mate. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Anyway, just want to put out a big thank you to everybody for uh, keeping the, uh, the views up. We're up to about 70,000 views now, which is great. And um, I guess we'll see you next time. See you later. See ya.